Hello and welcome or welcome back. Today I'm going to be doing some more Python coding using Jupyter Notebook. In the last video I covered exercises 1.1 and 1.2 which we have here and today I will be tackling problem 1.3. So we'll go ahead and start a new project. Let's go ahead and title this exercise 1.3. And in this project, we are going to be using another string of characters. What we are looking for this time will be the longest substring in which the letters all occur in alphabetical order. <clears throat> it was explained in the lecture video that this should include uh, duplicate characters. So if there is an A followed by an A, those would be acceptable as they are technically still in order. So to begin, I would say we can start with the string that we are going to be looking at. There we go. And then we are going to be looking for a substring. So we can go ahead and name that. Um, long sub, because we're going to need a long substring saved, and then we will need um, a more current one that we used as we iterate through this string. We have our file has changed. Uh, I guess we can overwrite. Um, okay. Long sub uh, equal to Nothing. And then we can edit there. Uh, our lecture video made use of a debug. It looked really useful. I think we will bypass that for now. Just for the sake of brevity. I like to be very concise. So. From there, we can... Let's see, what shall we do here? As we can begin to iterate through our string, um, there's our string that, and this should find or should be the first character or our current character within our main string. Um, so then for each character, we're going to want to iterate through the rest of the string. So we'll do GA. And we want to start at I go through and 
and then we do the minus one. Otherwise, the this would be too long. It would iterate one more than our string actually is. There we are. And as we iterate through our string here, we're going to want, as I said, a current substring. which will, so here, our current substring will consist of our index, first letter of this current substring. We'll want to continue. Obviously, we're going to need more than one letter, or hopefully have more than one letter. Um, if we're comparing all these substrings to see which one ends up being the longest. And we'll do that by saying J, if our second character, or I guess the next character, as J iterates, is, there we go, we'll use this, less than or equal, since we said duplicates would be acceptable, this should cover that. Great. <clears throat> and if it is in alphabetical order, we are going to need to update our string again. So we can do, we're using, working on the current substring before we store this in as our long substring. Current substring will set equal I our second J loop gets to And that should take care of that. Wonderful. So, like I said then, if this is our new longest substring, we will need to reflect that by updating our long substring. Otherwise, we'll just iterate over it and it wouldn't have been stored. So, we will do that if it is longer. I almost forgot the parentheses there. So, if uh, the length of our long substring is then or length 
our current sub string. Long sub set to current um, substring. That should update that. And otherwise, we can break. <coughs> Lastly, we will want to print whichever substring we end up with. Long sub. And we can say something like longest alpha. Sized substring is all right. So let's see if this runs. All right, it did not. Um, valid syntax. I thought it was this. Let's see if that helps at all. And four. Ah, uh, forget the I. Okay. Four. Six, one, two. Where is that current sub? need be needed anywhere else. Let's run it and see. Plus two. Longest. All right, and there we have it. So our longest alphabetized substring is B E G G H. Now, I'm confident that this is the answer because of the video lecture that accompanied this exercise. But as I said, we were also shown this little debug flag. Which we can demonstrate real quick. Show us what our current point is, starting with our I index. To other characters with our second index.
as well as which iteration these are each on. a bit of typing here. And else. Zero. Second iteration. All right, so here we can see every step along the way to our long substring. Let's see, we have these. AZ, the first two characters of the string. I, uh, the first index is at A, second one at Z. So, er, second one hasn't begun yet, but the next character is Z, which is shown doing this. First loop. All the way down until we print our last statement of the longest substring. Um, so with that, we have completed exercise 1.3. Um, I'm not sure what the next exercise will be, but I will see you then. Have a great day.